Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to tell you about this uh, Samsung 2 terabyte drive. Now, this is an SSD drive. Uh, it's the PCIe 4.0 NVEM M2 M.2 SSD. So this is going to go on my computer. Now, I do have uh, a little bit older version of this that's only one terabyte. I do a lot of video editing, and I try to uh, edit all my videos off of this one drive because it's supposed to be really fast, um, except I ran out of room. Uh, I have a video project that's more than one terabyte with the cache. I find the cache system takes up a lot as well as I'm working on this. So I went ahead and got the two terabyte and their newest one, the 990 Pro. supposed to be super, super super fast for accessing my video files. That is what I am hoping. This is, says uh, read speeds up to 7450 megabytes a second. Uh, let's just go ahead and open this up and take a look at it. You guys, you can see it is very small. It's very, very tiny. Uh, and this goes, I have an extra slot in my computer for this to go into. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab my computer and I'm going to uh, install it. And we're going to test it out and see how it works. Okay, we are inside my computer. This is my motherboard right there. Um, my motherboard actually has three slots, uh, one above the um, uh, unit here, the, the GPU, and then one slot there, and then one down below, which is a, a shorter one, which would fit this. So um, I did actually go ahead and put this in. It was fairly simple to do. We just line up all the, the right teeth to it and, and the screws and the whole bit. Um, in the next section, I explained that how I or why I had to move this. So this um, did not stay in this slot. It actually moved it up to the slot above it um, because my system, for some reason, did not recognize that. It actually kicked it, kicked the uh, Windows operating system disk out because there's only it only registers and only sees so many slots um, so i had to change this around to make it work but it's very simple to do um, just have to take things apart sometimes to get to it um, slide them in and put a little screw back in there now because the you see the one above it is actually longer i had to, to switch the two and actually i left the long one out i didn't put anything over the small slot and i had to move a, a add a different screw to make sure that the small one fit in the larger slot so it was a little bit more work than what i showed i didn't show that part on video you may have to figure that out if you're doing this on your own um, and then once you have that on um, if you if you right click down here in the windows and you go to disk management and i click that um, this pops up all your disks and um, this actually was here on on n if you can see the n i'm trying to be able to show you hopefully you can see it here on the on the computer th through the camera um, but it showed that there was not nothing there it was not, not available my, my computer wouldn't see it you have to set the system up to identify it. So it just said, hey, there's something here, but we're, we can't do nothing with it. Um, I had to right click on it and um, it, it doesn't show now, but I had to go and actually go through the system to tell it to make a number, to put a number though. So this is drive number N now. Um, and it's it's got just under under two terabytes. I'm actually um, uh, putting something in it now. So it's it's filling up, but um, so you do have to do some work once you get it installed, as long as you're, you don't uh, mess up your Windows boot like I did. It took me a little while to figure it out, but I got it in there. I got the disk in. I went to the disk management. I set this up again, right click, and then there's a, a way to you know format it kind of thing to set it up basically, um, for a new volume basically I think is what you put it as, to uh, N. So now that it is in there, um, you can open up your, um, here you go, your file explorer, go to PC, and I can see I got a lot of drives. I have a lot of external drives here, but uh, this is N. It's a 1.8 terabytes is what you get out of it because there's always something in there for some reason. Um, I'm filling it up right now um, with a, a video because, again, I do video. I did a dance recital video, so it's actually... Um, working on filling up right here as you can see um, now I'm going from an external hard drive to this drive so it's still going to be limited you can see the speed on it here which is actually a lot faster than it was before um, but I'm going from an external hard drive to this SSD so the speed is not going to be very good um, I don't really have another way of testing the speed of 
this drive. I'm not sure exactly how to do it, but it should work better. I hope, I'm hoping that I can get everything um, transferred over and edited through this drive. And uh, so far, so good. Again, took a little bit to get started, but I think I got it. So if you're looking for a nice SSD, two terabyte uh, little hard drive, this one may be the right one for you.